Okay, so we come to the last uh two uh, the last three sections of the last last three sections of uh, today's workshop. So the first thing we do is uh, structures. So the thing is that let's say you want to store uh similar things together, but then we don't want to but then let's say we want to store like the age of a uh, ages of student in the class. We don't want to create like the variable age one, age two, age three, age four, age five, right? Is that is a bit cumbersome? Then 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 we need to remember uh these five variables. So instead of doing that, we can create, we can use a structure to store all of them together into, into one variable. Yeah, then the most and then the most common use structure is the list. Yeah. So so for the list, we can create a list like this. So so the variable is LST list. Then we use the square brackets to indicate that it's a list. Then then like then like the the, the different the difference at sorry the different element within the list we can just uh we can separate them with a comma here so nus is the first is the first one is the first element 50 is the second element 123.5 is your third element and Schrodinger is your last element yeah so in this case you can see that it's not necessary for all the things in the list to be the same data type we can mix uh, strings and numbers and booleans all in the list itself yeah, so the thing is that let's say we want to be able to access a certain element within the list. We need to use, we need to have the index. So in this case, I, I'm saying that the list, I want to access the first element of the list. Yeah, so, so I think you, I think some of you will catch what I said. I want to access the first element, but instead I have a zero here instead of a one. Uh, yes, so fortunately or unfortunately, like most other problems, like most other programming languages, Python starts from zero instead of one. So, so your first element will, will have an index of zero, then index of one, index of two, index of three, and so, on, uh, and so on. So in this case, I want to overwrite the first element of the list with NTU. Yeah, so like this, we can store NTU inside the first element here. Yeah, so let me just run. Yeah, so if I run, you can see that if I print list second, which means I want a third element, which is 123.5. So you see, it's printed out here. Then if I print list, it will print out the entire list like this. So you can see everything that's stored within the list. Okay, so other than being able to create a variable, I mean, create a list and then be able to modify uh, one element or list at a time, uh, we can do other, like there are other ways to, uh, there are other ways to edit the list. Like, and these are using, and this is using the uh, list methods. Yeah, like, uh, that you, can, you, you can think of them as a function that belongs to a list, to the list itself. So we can append things to the end of the list. So what I mean by this is we can just like add things to the end of the list. So if I append physics to the, to the initial list, we can see that physics is added to the end of the list. Then we can insert a thing at a certain index. So let's say I want to, in, so I want, I want to insert the number 42 into the second index, which means I want to, 42 to be the third item in the list. So you can see for this line, 42 is, in, is indeed inserted at the third item here, and then everything else get pushed back. And then everything get pushed back. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, then, then this is just to append uh the one two three five one two three point five back at the end of the list yeah so let's say we want to remove a certain item from the list so remove means i just delete it from the list uh we can use list dot remove like this okay then you notice that one two three point five appears twice in the list so if you use remove right it will remove the one two three point five with the smallest index which in, which in this case is this one two three point five here, which which occurs at the front rather than the one at the back. So when we so when we call the remove one two three point five, you remove the one two the one two three point five here. Okay, then the last method that uh that is commonly used is the pop, is the pop method. So pop basically uh it will re, it will remove the item at the index that you provide. So in this case, I pop two right. I will pop the, the thing in the second index, which is 42. So I will remove 42 here. 
So unlike, so uh, okay, this one I, I didn't check, but I think when you when you call remove, right, it will remove it entirely. There's no way to retrieve it. But if you do pop one, right, it will remove and then it will return, and then it will return you the thing. So in this case, when it returns you, right, you can use it to print, you can print it out, or you can also uh, you can also store it in a variable. So in this case, when I pop, so I remove 42 here, then I store it in a variable called item. Yeah, so you can see if I print list, the 42 is removed. And if I print item, we see that 42 is also stored. If 42 is stored in the in the variable item. Yeah. Ah, oh, did I miss anything? Yeah, then it's also possible to create an empty list. So if I do, if I create a variable empty, uh, you can also do this. This is valid. You can create an empty list. Yeah, so empty, like, there's nothing stored in it. Yeah, like this is useful if you want to create an empty list and then store it and, and then like, append things to it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, then let's say we want to see the number of items or the length of the, the number of items in the list, right? What we can do is use length. So if I use length on empty, we see that we will return zero. But if I use length on list, it will return five because you can see in our over here, list was this saw one, two, three, four, five. You saw five items. Yeah. So other than list, we also have other structures such as uh tuple, set, dictionary. But then uh I think the, I think you can go and Google them on your own and then and then see uh what this and then and then you can see what these structures are and and how are they different from a list yeah then uh all these structures the list the uh, tuple set dictionary belongs to a class of objects called iterables which is which is basically something that uh, python can loop over without having to specify the index so we can so for example we can do this for i in list print i and then we will see that it prints out everything in the list so it prints and uh, ntu 50 schrodinger physics 1 to 3.5 yeah so for so so if the variable that you put here in this one right like this list here right if you put an iterable there uh this thing can also work as well and then you can print out everything in the list or everything in the structure without having to specify uh Reverse, huh? without having to specify the index itself. Yeah, like this is just for your, this is just for your knowledge. But because to, because to me, right, I think that like you use the I in range, right? It's like more or less sufficient for most users. Yeah, like this is something if you are sort of lazy to do, but then yeah, this is sort of yeah, if you're lazy, yeah, but both way, both, both way works. Huh? Yeah, so for index, so earlier I, I uh, do the index, right? There's more things that we can play around with, with for the index. Yeah, so this is just to show you that if you do positive, if you do a zero, uh, basically non-negative non, non -negative integers for your index, right? You zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. But if you choose to do negative integers, right? What we go is, Minus one will be the last one, minus two will be the second last one, and so on like this. Yeah, so like this is how you can use negative uh, index to sort of to sort of access your structure from the back instead of from the front. Uh, yeah, so sometimes if you want to do actually the uh, okay, never mind, ignore what I say for that. Yeah. Yeah, then we can specify index to to access certain things. Yeah, like I think it's really covered because we do the uh, print list index to. And then okay, yeah. So this so this is basically slicing. So instead of just doing one number inside your square bracket, we can also do something like this, which is basically the number zero here is your starting is your starting uh, index, your three is your ending index, and then two is your step size for the index. So let me just print out to show you uh, what happens. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is December and November because I do the minus one, minus two. 
But then 0, 3, 2, right? I only print January and uh, March because from 0, I increment to 2 to March. Then, then my index is 2 already. Then because 2 is the largest integer before 3, so I hit N over here. So it becomes January and March only. Yeah, so this is just for you to see. Uh. Uh, so let's say if I do 10, I go 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. I don't actually do 10 itself. If I want to do 10, I will need to do 11, uh, which is like this. Uh. So I go all the way to uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So November will be 10 and will be the last one that you will be printed out. Yeah, so this is basically uh, how to slice to slice to only access certain elements of your list. Then the index and slicing also, also works for strings because strings, you can just basically take it as a list of characters, where characters is basically, uh, is basically, uh, is a basically a correct, is a list of characters. Uh. I don't think I need to define what a character is, right? but I think you should know. It's like just one alphabet, one number, or like one punctuation by itself. It's considered a character. Yeah, so if I have this sentence here, you can see that the all the, all the indexing and, and all the slicing works for the string as well.